If you decide that a pre-designed template is not for you, you may want to create your publication from scratch. This allows you to build it up exactly how you want it, and also means that it's completely unique. Starting publications from scratch offers ultimate design freedom in PagePlus. Today, we'll look at adding text and pictures to a blank publication. I've opened a blank publication. Now, the first thing to do is add a title. For this, we'll select the Artistic Text tool from the Tools toolbar and place the cursor at the top of the page. You can see that dynamic guides appear when you hover over the page margins. These are designed to help you position the objects on your page. Then, just click and drag to set the font size. The approximate size will appear on the hint line, so use this if you need to set the point size more accurately. Text can be formatted at any time using the options on the Text Context toolbar. First, triple click on your title to select it, and then update the text properties such as the font and other attributes. As you can see, the text is now too big to fit on the page. Don't worry though, you can easily resize it using the corner handles. Notice that the text also changes shape when resized in this way. Finally, I'll update the text colour using the colour tab. Next, we'll add a standard text frame. Once again, you can see that dynamic guides have appeared to help you line up the text frame to the existing text object and page margins. To help design the rest of the page, you can fill the frame with placeholder text. To do this, either press F5 when the frame is selected, or select the option from the right-click menu. To illustrate the difference between frame text and artistic text, I'll resize the frame. This time, only the frame changes size and not the text within it. Now we can add columns to the frame by increasing the number of frame columns on the Text Context toolbar. To change the space between the columns, click Text Frame Setup and then increase the gutter value. You can change the formatting of text in the same way as before. Simply select it and then update the text properties on the Text Context toolbar. The alignment of the text can be changed here too. Now that the text is placed, it's time to add some pictures. If you know exactly what picture you want to use, you can use the Import Picture tool from the Picture Flyout on the Tools toolbar. However, it's often better to add an empty frame first. To do this, select Rectangular Picture Frame and then draw out your picture frame on the page. This places it on top of the text frame and the text is hidden beneath. We can easily fix this by updating the wrap settings. Right click your picture and click Wrap Settings. In the dialog, define the wrap around the picture frame. I'm going to choose Square. When you click OK, the text will update accordingly. Next, we can add a picture to the frame using the Replace Picture button. Navigate to your pictures, select the one you want to use, and click Open. You'll see that your picture is cropped to fit inside the frame. You can use the Position Image button to reposition your picture, or adjust the zoom settings. You can even increase the size of the frame without distorting the picture inside. Let's repeat this process with the second frame. The last thing we need to do to complete our publication is to update the text. Click once to select the text frame, and then quadruple click to select all of the existing text. Next, simply start typing. We're almost done, but there are a couple of finishing touches I'd like to make to the publication. To make the text in the first paragraph stand out, I'll increase the point size on the text context toolbar. Finally, I'll create a drop cap to give my text a stylized finish. To do this, ensure that the text frame is selected 
and then open the Format menu and click Paragraph. On the left, choose Drop Caps and then set the Drop Cap type to Dropped. Then click OK. Our publication is finished. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to create publications from scratch. To find out more about PagePlus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching.